So where, wherever you're at in your meditation practice, however you need to be able to concentrate the best, you just do it that way. And we're all at a different level. This is, uh, you know, our practice is always going to be, when you're in a group of people, it's always going to be multi-level and we're never going to know where anyone's at. So no point trying to compare yourself with this person, that person, person next door to you, or even comparing yourself to yourself. We're just going to be where you're at today. That's all we can do. That's all we need to worry about, really. So just uh, get your posture, feet flat on the floor if that's where they are, and sits bones slightly raised, and just imagine your spine is a string of pearls of light that stretches from the base all the way up through the crown of the head and beyond. And just getting a little bit longer as we settle into our meditation practice. And bring your mind to the breath. Just release your attention from any sounds in your environment. Just notice what's arising in the mind. Just allow it to arise and abide. And then just float away. And just watch. And then very briefly, you can bring to mind the loved ones in your life, the ones you don't like so much, and then the strangers. Bearing in mind, they could change place at any time. And they're all equal. They wish to be happy. They wish to be free from suffering and in having this extraordinary capacity for Buddhahood. So we'll do this meditation for all these people of our life. The swift return of Lamas of Parimbashe's unmistaken reincarnation. And for anyone else that you are thinking of right now who may benefit. So imagine this Tara is in the space in front of you. She's this beautiful, radiant, green light body. She's very beautiful, useful, sitting on a multicolored lotus. And her left foot is drawn in just as, as it would be when you're meditating. And her right foot is out resting on its only little tiny multicolored lotus. And her left foot drawn in indicates her complete and effortless control over her desire energy. And her right foot out indicates her willingness and her capacity to help, to get up and aid sentient beings. And often she's referred to as the wish-fulfilling Buddha She's just re representing this quick capacity. Here it's represented as female to cut through obstacles, to get things done, to be successful, and to make us blissful. And imagine Tara is as beautiful, youthful, radiant, full of energy and bliss. She wears colored silken garments and jewelry on her ears, her ankles, her arms, her neck, around her waist. And that five-pointed crown is embedded with jewels. And imagine this is also the mind of your teacher manifesting in this form for your benefit. To the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha, I go for refuge until I'm enlightened. By this practice of meditating on Guru Vajrasattva, may I reach Buddhahood so as to benefit all sentient beings. So imagine now. Tara sending light, first of all, from white light from the Om at her brow chakra. And this enters your brow and completely fills you. And imagine that all the problems and sufferings and heaviness of the body are purified by this light. All the harm you've ever done to any living being with this body and all infinite past bodies is also purified, completely eradicated, not one atom left as we recite the mantra. <clears throat> Om Tare Tutare Ture Swam 
Om dare tu dare tu 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 Now this time imagine the light comes again and your body becomes a blissful light body just like Tara's. Indestructible, just like it will be when you attain the deity's body, the Sambhavakaya. And imagine it's not possible to ever harm others with this body, only to benefit. Om Tare Tu Tare Tu 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 Now imagine red light this time, <clears throat> coming from the A ah at her throat chakra to your throat chakra. And this purifies all the problems of your speech, inappropriate speech, useless speech, uncontrolled speech, angry speech, and criticisms, and this inability that we often have to be able to express ourselves appropriately, and wisely, and all the harm you've ever done to any living being with the speech of this life and infinite past lives also totally purified and eradicated 
by the blissful red light, not one atom left. Om tare tu tare tu 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 And imagine the light coming again and you're totally full of all the blissful, perfect, compassionate, wisdom, appropriate speech of Lama Tara, such that whatever sound you utter is necessarily beneficial to any living being who hears it, including yourself. And all of this is your potential. So really try and feel this powerful, speech energy as the light from Tara's throat touches your throat chakra. Om Tare Tu Tare Tu Re 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 swaha Om tare tu tare tu re swaha Om tare tu tare tu re swaha Om tare tu tare tu re Now the mind, Lama Tara sends powerful beams of blue light, blue like the sky from the blue hum at her heart chakra. And this enters your heart. And imagine that all the unhappiness of mind, confusion, arrogance, 
anger, jealousy, pride, resentment, hurt, anxiety, self-hate, depression, bitterness, grudges, all of this completely purified and all the delusions, including the root delusion, ego grasping, which is really the cause of all of our own suffering and why we harm others is completely eradicated by this powerful light. Not one atom left as we recite the mantra. Om tare tu tare tu 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 And imagine the blue light coming again and feel this time full of the blissful, omniscient, compassionate mind of Lama Tara. Remembering this is also the mind of your teacher. Again, all of this is your potential. Om Tare Tu Tare Tu Om tare tu tare tu resva. 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 Now the body, speech, and mind, and imagine the three lights coming from Lamatara's three chakras, and they simultaneously penetrate your three places, and this time feel that even the subtlest stains of all delusion are completely eradicated. This is kind of like the energy of the delusion. Not one atom left, so really feel blissful, and we'll recite the mantra, and then just after, for a little while, stay in that blissful state, concentrating on being one with Mother Tara. 
Om tare tu tare tu re soha. 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 Now imagine Tara in front of you, the lotus dissolving upwards into her body and the little foot lotus also dissolving into her leg and up to her body. And then she comes to sit above the crown of your head and faces the same way as you. And out of her wish to become one with your mind, imagine this is your teacher, she dissolves into this green light and melts into you through the crown and merges with your body, your speech, and your mind. And think you are one now with Lama Tara's body, speech, and mind, and feel really blissful. And think that now I am Tara. Think like this, I am Tara. I must lead all these people to enlightenment. My friends, my enemies, my stranger. So imagine in front are the enemies. To the left, your friends. And to the right and everywhere else, all the rest of the sentient beings, the strangers, above, below, right, left, behind, in front. They're pervading all of space, and remember, they're all the same. They all want happiness. They don't want suffering. They all possess Buddha nature. Now, from your heart, millions and millions of tiny green taras emanate, and they enter the friends and the enemies and the strangers. They take away all their suffering and give them everything they need and transform them into their own tara. And imagine this, really, really want this. As we recite the mantra again. Om tare tu tare tu re 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 swaha. Om tare tu tare tu re swaha. Om tare tu tare tu re swaha. And imagine that all these Taras absorbing back into you and they enhance your own Tara nature.
Thank you, everybody. Relax. Let's just dedicate all the merit, positive energy, creative energy we've generated doing this medica meditation for all these sentient beings. And for the Lama Supremacy's swift return. And anybody else you may have been thinking about. Okay, lots of love, everybody. I'll see some of you this afternoon or this evening. Thank you for hosting. Thank you keep, for keeping an eye on the door for those of you who were. All right. Lots of love. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you, Ellen.